argument over property access leads to a shooting incident and a teenage boy being wounded. MTN's John Amy live in our Butte studio right now with all the details on that. John? That's right, Kevin. And a, a Powell County man opened fire on a family in a pickup truck who were driving on a road that's been the center of a public access dispute. Now, the alleged shooter is in jail, and the family shared with me their harrowing story as the bullets started to fly. A road access dispute in a remote part of Powell County last month quickly turned violent, as this cell phone video shows. He's got a gun, Mama. Mama, they got guns coming at us. Got... Ah! 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 Damn it! Ah! They hit you. They yes! I got hit! I got hit! I got the up! Open the mail! A 16-year-old boy was shot in the shoulder the evening of July 24th while riding in a truck with his family on Outback Lane just north of Jens, Montana. Powell County Sheriff's arrested Jeffrey Hawks, who faces four counts of attempted deliberate homicide. The shooting was over a right-of-way dispute between Hawks and the alleged victims. Tabitha Mathis and her three sons say they are lucky to be alive. The family was using a road that runs through Hawks' property to get to their adjacent property the evening of the shooting. Hawks has been given a $150,000 bond, and the Mathis family is staying in Butte out of fear of his possible release from jail. It was an ambush. Like it came out of a... It was premeditated and it was an ambush. And we are so mad at this low bond for four counts of its attempted murder is what it is. You can dress the words up all you want. Here's the Mathis truck they were in when the shooting occurred. They say the shooter was about 30 yards away and fired directly at the vehicle. You can see three of the bullet holes in the windshield. The bullet hole right here in the center is the one they think hit Austin in the right shoulder. It threw me kind of backwards to the seat and because I was kind of leaning up forwards and I felt it when my adrenaline went down. I could feel the pain was very, very bad. My 16 year old, I heard him say, uh, God, please don't let me die. Um, our truck was stuck there. We had to run out on foot with no phone signal. No, we had to run to a neighbor's house and um, ask them to call 911. Weeks after the shooting, the family is still traumatized. It makes you not want to trust people. Um, just scared, paranoid. When, when a loud noise happens, my son jumps. Tabitha said her son is receiving counseling since the shooting and will require surgery on his shoulder. Reporting live in Butte, John Amy, back to you. John, thanks very much.